Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to buy your Kentucky Cookie raffles. Ten dollars per chance, 19 chances in total for your opportunity to go home with a shirt on one of the players' backs. Chances to be bought at the top of the standings. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Bog Ice Arena for tonight's Hold the Line Charity Hockey Game. Before we get started, folks, we want to pay tribute to the two people we are remembering here tonight. First, 
Sergeant Michael Chesna. Following September 11th, Sergeant Chesna joined the U.S. Army to serve his country with the 187 10th Mountain Division, serving two tours of duty when he was awarded the Purple Heart. He later fulfilled his childhood dream of becoming a police officer with the town of Wayne. Sergeant Chesna was a massive sports fan. Besides being an avid basketball player in his weekly men's league, he followed all the Boston sports teams with a passion and had a particular devotion to Coach Bill Belichick. Mike was a collector. Among his collection were watches, bobbleheads, baseball cards, and football helmets. Mike was the beloved husband of Cindy and loving father of Olivia and Jack. Let's all take a moment to remember Sergeant Michael Chesney. Thank you. Vera Adams, a lifelong Weymouth resident who graduated from Weymouth High in 1958. She worked at New England Telephone for several years and then Sullivan Insurance in Quincy where she met her lifelong friends. Vera lived a quiet, modest life, enjoyed spending time with her friends, their children, grandchildren, and cousins. Vera had a beautiful smile that she did not need much of an excuse to show. Vera enjoyed reading, dinner with friends, and trips to the Cape. Vera was the loving wife of the late Donald who passed away in 1993. Everyone, please take a look around and see all the different hockey teams that are here tonight. They are here to not only support the Chesna family, but also Weymouth Police, Weymouth Fire, that we stand behind our heroes who protect the thin blue line. And once again, a brief moment of silence for Vera Adams and Sergeant Michael Chesna. Thank you. Now please welcome members of the Weymouth Color Guard and Boston Garden legend Renee Rancourt to honor America and to see our national
And the moment you've all been waiting for, the whole the line classic. We got Wayman versus Wayman, Fire versus The Shield. Let's get ready for some hockey. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Bog in Kingston, Mass. Uh, along with the other members of the My Hockey Live crew, we've got Jeff Lane, of course, Pat Serio running production tonight. And it's a pleasure to be up uh, rinkside with uh, my partner tonight, Jake Levin. And Jake, uh, a huge crowd for a summer exhibition hockey game, and it's all for a great cause. Paul, it's for a great cause. Uh, the circumstances obviously quite unfortunate, but in tragedy comes scenario like this where the community is able to come together and uh, this crowd has really exceeded expectations I think and uh, what a great turnout in memory of Sergeant Michael Chesna and Vera Adams. And uh, we just had Renee Rancourt, the Boston, another Boston Pleasant legend, surprise. <laughs> who uh, uh, entertained the crowd and uh, honored America with the singing of the national anthem as only Renee Rancourt can of do. Of course. How many fist pumps Jake? I think I had four. Very weird not seeing him at the TD Garden. I think that's a first. Of course, he did retire at the end of last season. And right now, down on the ice, uh, I believe that's uh, Sergeant Chesna's uh, family. Uh, they're standing there with, a, looks like a member of the uh, police department who's in uniform. We don't see the number, but uh, we're, we're, we're going to be uh, a little bit uh, of a learning curve here with the yes. numbers. The, the uh, police department is in camouflage, kind of the brown camouflage uniforms, uh, skating right to left. And uh, the fire department with a, a little bit cleaner look of the uh, hockey sweaters, as they say, with uh, predominantly white sweater and uh, the numbers in red, white, and blue, uh, as they are with both teams. And uh, right now, uh, looks like they're getting ready to have a, a little bit of a pregame presentation or uh, announcement down on the ice. But just uh, before we get to that, we'll, we'll let you know some of the, the star power in this game for the fire department. They've got... Uh, NHL goaltender Mike Condon, he will not start, but uh, among their skaters, Alex Biega, who played at Harvard and plays for the Vancouver Canucks. Noah Hannafin, that's a familiar name, uh, three years with the Carolina Hurricanes, and he's headed to Calgary now uh, to start, to kind of jumpstart his career. Norwood native, uh, uh, went to Calgary in that crazy Dougie Hamilton deal a few months got, back. Uh, Colin White, a BC kid who plays for Ottawa. Kevin Hayes, another BC product who plays for the Rangers. Ryan Donato, who made a, a great debut with the Bruins out of Harvard last, last season. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Olivia Jack Chestnut. Dropping. Right now, it's a, it's a, the official dropping of a puck by uh, Jack Chestnut. Being encouraged by his sister, and now they... Uh, they get the job done very well. And that's what it's all about. Try to identify the um, number 39 out there. That would be Officer Sean Murphy. And now both teams will gather around the family at Center Ice for some pictures before they uh, get started. Closest uniform I think uh, you or I may have seen to these, Paul, is uh, Falmouth breaks out a digicamo type look for their uh, annual game that honors the military each year, usually around the Super Bowl, Falmouth versus Barnstable. So oh, also, uh, at Saint the very least, we have a bit of a trained eye for yeah, this kind uh, of thing. St. John's Prep has worn similar uniforms on the uh, Derek Hines game that they play once a year. And, uh, very similar to the camouflage. 
look to the police force. And what a great honor for these guys, uh, the, the police officers and the firemen who uh, get to skate here alongside NHL players, uh, of course, spending the summer here getting ready for camp. But it's going to be a thrill for those guys to play with some of the guys they grew up with as well and whom they play against during the regular season. Going down some of the rest of this star power you alluded to, Paul. We got Pat Leahy of Miami University. He's a Bruins alum. He was drafted way back in 1998, but he is a Duxbury native. A pair of Braintree boys round out the squad. Brian Gibbons, a BC alum, now with the Anaheim Ducks. Had a career year in 2017-18. Career highs in goals, assists, and of course points. Adam Gaudet out of Northeastern. He's currently in the Vancouver system. And it's drafted. 2015. The 2018 Hobie Baker Award winner. That is one of, well. One of two Hobie Bakers here tonight, one on each team, and we'll get to the other one. But Adam Gaudet, what a career at Northeastern, leading after his junior year, and terrific uh, career ahead, of, ahead for him as well. Gonna step in and replace the Sedin twins in Vancouver, no pressure, right? Exactly. We'll get to the, uh, the firepower on the police team as well. Uh, it'll take a little while to get started. Charlie Coyle's gonna take the the face-off for the police team, he's got Paul Carey on his left, and over on his right is number 13, Detective Michael Brennan. Ver into the, go ahead, Jim. I was just gonna say, very fitting. Hold it, pardon me one second here, play down here. Scoring chance early for Kevin Hayes for the fire department, the New York Ranger, and now the puck skips out to center ice under the stick of Eric Murray. Murray will go back and toss over to his partner, Alex Biega. Biega looking for help up the middle, trying to find Jake Walsh, doesn't connect, and. The police department takes over. This is Paul Carey, BC alum. Skates it through center ice into the fire department zone. Deep into the corner, tosses behind the net. Looking for Brennan on the far side. Right back to Carey, who circled the net. Carey up high to Coyle. Coyle looking for uh, cutting uh, uh, Brennan. Misses connection, and the uh, fire department skates it out. Teams will look for a change pretty soon. This is Ryan Donato on the far side. First touch of the evening for the Harvard product, looking for Biega, another Harvard guy. Biega has it again. Biega with a quick move, trying to get around Brennan. He's in deep, the right defenseman, centering pass, looking for uh, number 15, Jake Walsh. Misses connection, it goes to the left of the ice. Icing's waved off, and I think we'll see that yep. a lot tonight. They're gonna keep this thing going. Eric Murray for the fire department, being forechecked deep in his own zone. Tosses it out in front, I believe that's Doug Smith. Smith up the middle, looking for 77, whom we don't have on our roster. We'll have to pick that up later. Over the line comes Sean Foley. Foley up top, and a wrist shot to save there by Brad Baroni. Well, like I was saying, uh, I uh -huh. talked to broadcast, Paul. Uh, fitting that Charlie Coyle got to take the opening draw, he is, of course, an East Weymouth native. That's Officer Jeremy Russell in goal, not Barone. Barone will probably play the second half, as will Mike Condon, who's on the bench for the fire department, the backup goalies. There's a break for the police department. They've got a two-on-one. If they hurry, a shot is off the side of the net. Picked up by Hannafin now, Noah Hannafin. Try to chip it up the wing. Four-check there by Dan Lacatrua, the veteran, an alum of uh, the NHL for a number of teams. Here's a break the other way. And just over skating it momentarily was uh, 24, Sean Foley. The puck skips back into the police department zone. A long pass up, and that is ruled uh, not icing. Can't get a number on that defense, but it looks like New York Rangers pants though over there. Maybe that's Mike Motto. Motto played for about half the league in his day, including a stop with the Bruins near the end. Uh, taking it deep. And Getting it back to the point. Long shot in by uh, Mike Rice. Doesn't reach the net. And hustling over is Brian Devlin. Devlin can't get it deeper than the red line where it's picked up by the police department. And defenseman will play catch there. Flip near side to uh, Motto. That's Mike Motto, number five. Puck back into the fire department zone. Long pass up and gobbled up by Motto, who We'll play it over to his defense partner. Pass up for Chris D'Angelo, offers to D'Angelo in the middle. They can't get a shot off and they turn it over inside their own zone and skating out for, skating out at number 12. We don't have him on the roster either. Okay, 
Anafin try to jump the gun around the blue line. There's going to be a break in for the police. That's a drop over towards Motto, and it was wide of the net. That was Bobby Gervasi who got that shot off. Motto instrumental, and now they work it down low. Gervasi, a shot to score! Bobby Gervasi, the detective. Paul, what did I tell you off air before the broadcast? Keep an eye on Bobby Gervasi. He didn't play in the NHL, but has an ample background in hockey, and it goes for the net, breaks open the scoring. Beautiful setup there. Uh, can't get the number. Looks like Chris Wagner with a beautiful setup there. The Zavarian Hawk alum. Played on Zavarian's first ever Super 8 team back in 2008. Later drafted by the Anaheim Ducks in 2010. He's joining the Bruins. Should do well down on the fourth line. Brings a much needed grit back down to the fourth line. Maybe not seen since the days of the Merlot line. So the police take the lead. Colin White now out there for the uh, fire department, number 11. Skating with, uh, looks like Gaudette and uh, Jake Walsh. The police on the go again, a shot and a score! This time it's Sanford getting it to Gervasi. And Gervasi with two goals on that shift. Two goals in 30 seconds, pretty good. Diego now will toss it across as uh, the fire department now, before they can even blink, they're down two to nothing. Just four, a little over four minutes into the game. Nice move there by Paul Carey. Carey, long pass up over the line for Sanford. Sanford, nice drop pass there for Gervasi. Back to Sanford. They try to work give and go down low. Sanford, St. Louis Blues property. He's a native of Salem. That's up in your neck of the woods, Paul. Yeah, Salem kid. Played at Boston College, originally drafted by the Capitals. Jimmy Hayes leaves it back for Coyle. Coyle flips it in, but picked off on the way in by uh, Eric Murray. Murray tries to send uh, Colin White away, but White has to go pick it up. White trying to get around uh, Paul Carey. Carey playing defense on this shift. Fire department trying to cut that lead in half. And now Murphy comes wing to wing. Near side, Jimmy Hayes. Hayes tries a little flip pass, trying to get uh, Christy Angelo going towards the net, can't connect. And back to get it is uh, Rob O'Gara, the Yale product. Turnover. Ogara gives it away. Here's a shot to score by, that is Kevin Hayes with a bullet. Can't leave a player like Kevin Hayes open in space, not in any game. He's the second leading scorer among NHL players playing in this game with 174 career points. Trails only Charlie Coyle. Kevin Hayes playing his off wing as Jimmy Hayes is against them. They're covering one another. Jimmy Hayes was kind of giving it to him a little bit there. Police will try the right wing breakout here and skips over the stick of Hannafin, but he's able to recover it quickly to Donato. Donato looking for Kevin Hayes, picked off there by O'Gara. Hayes trying to stick handle over the line. Hayes in the middle, tosses to Donato, or rather uh, to Hannaford in deep. This is Donato now. Donato's centering pass intercepted. Can't get it into the scoring area. Nice play by Kevin Hayes to glove it down. Finds Donato on his off wing. Donato. Little chip pass in, and Hannaford comes in and picks up the garbage and scores. Noah Hannaford ties it up. I have a feeling we're going to run out of paper here, writing the goals down. Donato probably knows this rank very well, having grown up in Sichuit. Only a couple exits north on Route 3. He was able to chip that one over towards Noah Hannafin. Norwood boy played his prep school hockey at St. Sebastian's, then a year at BC. Ryan Gibbons now out there up front for the fire department, but this is La Couture. Can't get it in deep. Picked up by Sean Foley. Foley sends uh, line mate away. That is uh, Pat Leahy. 
streaking in. Gibbons now tosses it back to the point. That's uh, 21, Bryant Devlin, who snaps it in deep. Fire department has come alive and tied this thing up. Nice block there. Settled by Robinson back in his own end. It's firefighter Derek Robinson. The camouflage guys, uh, not only is it hard to read their numbers, most of them have it tucked in and you can't see the number. That's Brennan, 13. Now Motto will toss it across for his partner. Again, can't see the number. Pass comes up for Doug Smith. Smith trying to go into the corner on, B on uh, Robinson. Shot through a screen. It's deflected up over the net. Pass up for Smith. Intercepted by the fire department, and they come the other way. This is Gibbons down the right wing. Gibbons looking for help in front. Found a cutting Sean Foley, but it's knocked away by Mike Motto as the defenseman switch sides. Now the fire department on the go. A shot in by the defenseman closing. Toss it around to Gibbons covering the right point. Gibbons tries to send it through to Biega, who is uh, down low from that right point position. Comes up high, a shot and a save there by uh, goaltender Russell, and he covers up. Good play there as uh, Eric Murray let go of Rister from the left point. Motto all over the ice, one of the older players in this game, too. Remember, he joined the Bruins for the defense of their cup run at the deadline in 2012. Came over from the Islanders with Brian Ralston, who was then on the back nine of his career. But nevertheless, good call on that one, Jake. Toss towards the net by Eric Murray. And now it goes back to Murray again. A wrist shot saved by Russell. It's loose in front. They bang away and no goal. Russell sprawling out there. He could be getting a try out with the big club if he keeps this up. Bit unsettled beyond Tuka Rask unless you're buying in on Yaroslav Halak being the answer like it's 2010 again or something. Kevin Ryan for the fire department on the draw with uh, like uh, Sergeant Kevin Malloy, 63, in, in the camouflage. A long pass up on the left wing. Malloy leaves it for Chris D'Angelo. Detective D'Angelo centering pass. Comes all the way across to get a shot on net. The save there made by Chris Doherty in goal. And here comes Biega up the middle. Leads a four on two. Tosses it over on the left side to uh, Jake Walsh. Walsh trying to get Diego with the return pass and it's knocked off his stick and the police are able to skate it out to center. 12.49 to go in the first half. We're playing two 22 minute halves here, it's, it looks like. Paul Carey, a little stick handling in low, gets it to Sanford, Sanford behind the net. Centering pass. Can't connect there, or rather, yeah, that's Sanford 88. They come to center, goes off the stick of uh, Paul Carey, and his Biega in deep. Biega with a shot to score. Alex Biega, great hands. Biega, the Harvard alum and current member of the Vancouver Canucks. He was drafted way back in 2006 by the Sabres. Never made it to the show with Buffalo. Only recently with the Canucks at age 26. Showing a thing or two he can do there, going short side. Not a lot of real estate for that puck to go in the net. Just like that, the fire department has erased a 2-0 deficit. So the police broke on top 2-0, and uh, it's 3-2 now. Here's another chance, a shot to score! That's Gaudet! Adam Gaudet, the Hobie Baker winner. With the fourth goal for the fire department. They're on fire, some might say. But I'm bump. Fire department coached by Brad Flannery. He's a Weymouth fire, firefighter. And Tim Sweeney, Boston College, and a Bruins along. Nice try there by the police department. He hits Gaudet. It's a three on one the other way. Gaudet looks, sends a great pass across. And just hitting the post over there, I believe. Doug Smith. 
again, we gotta, we gotta pick up some of these numbers here between, here he is, here's Smith in front. Nice play by Russell, the goaltender, to cover up there with Smith on the doorstep. About halfway gone in this first half now, already at six goals, which sounds about right. This event sold out within a week of its announcement, first week of August. It's been hard to get on the secondary market, but it existed for these tickets, Paul. I know people who hit me up even asking if I had any extra tickets. I said, sorry, nothing I can do. You're just gonna have to watch the game at home on My Hockey Live. Fire department with a big line out there with Leahy in the middle and Hayes on one side, Donato on the other. Check to see who's out there for the police job. Jimmy Hayes is up front. Here's Jimmy Hayes near side, intercepts that clearing pass. And tries to stick handle through center ice, lays it off uh, on the far side for Murphy, Officer Murphy, and here's a shot in deep and a stop there by the defenseman looking the other way. Here's Brian Devlin trying to lead the breakout. Nice pass up. Right out of the stick of Leahy. Leahy to Hayes to the trail of Donato. Donato stick handles in the corner, gets it back to Kevin Hayes and goes right back out of the stick of Brian Donato. Donato with a turnaround and intercepted right in front by Jimmy Hayes. Did not fool him. And here's Murphy the other way. Murphy trying to pick it up off of uh, Devlin. Or rather, that's Brennan, 13. Michael Brennan. Rob O'Gara back on it now. His pass, Yale to Harvard, intercepted by Donato, but can't do anything with it, and the police are able to get it out to center ice. Brennan now deep into the corner. Hayes and Brennan will try to play catch, but Viega steals for the fire department. Viega, a little chip up to Donato, quickly to Hayes, back to Donato. To Hayes, they've got a three on two. The trailer is Leahy, nice play. Leahy with a stick handle and misfires. Looks like Jimmy Hayes got his stick in the way. Kevin Hayes to Donato, cross ice to Viega, quickly into Hayes. Boy, do they pass the puck well. Up top it comes to uh, Malloy, uh, my mistake, Eric Murray. Here comes the police the other way. Lacachore headed for the net. A shot to save there. Off the stick of O'Gara, the defenseman who was in deep. Good positional save there by Darty, right place, right time. Now Donato heads for the net, can't get a back, a full backhander on the chip shot there by uh, Brian Gibbons. Comes back to Viega. Viega stick handles nicely at the blue line, tosses across. They work a puck well, comes back out to Kevin Hayes. Top of the circle, Hayes looks, 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 lays it back. To the left point, a shot scooped up there by the goaltender Russell off the stick of Eric Murray, the left defenseman. Eric Murray all over the ice early on for the fire department. You know, I wish I had a complete list of which of these guys played hockey in their youth, which ones played through high school, even into college. Uh, obviously, we have the list of the players who made it to the NHL. A lot of them look like they did. There's some, uh, some talent out there, even among the guys that aren't NHLers. Weymouth is a very underrated hockey town. Matter of fact, at the time, it was the second public school ever to play in a Super 8 championship game, 2007. Now, there was a player on that roster by the name of Charlie Coyle, but nevertheless. I think he might have had something to do with the... Uh, before Hingham, before Redding, before Burlington, Arlington. Most of those schools that went on to win it eventually. It's quite a credit. They get it by Hannafin and uh, skating back is Mike Rice for the fire department. Rice will start it up the right side. Long pass up ice. Right onto the stick of Sean Foley. Uh, this is Foley, rather, cutting across. That was Brian Gibbons who found Foley. Foley steals, Gibbons in the corner. They've got numbers. Gibbons, nice little flip pass in front looking for Jake Walsh, but it skipped over his stick. Hannafin now able to get it up to Gibbons. Backhands it across near side for Sean Foley. Foley can't get through the defense of the police. Hannafin's size is impressive. I haven't Huge. seen him play in person at all, just on TV when the Bruins have played the Hurricanes. And I hope he excels in Calgary because I think he got a bad rap in Carolina. Not his fault the team hasn't made the playoffs in a decade and they were stolen from Hartford to begin with. Gervasi trying to find help. This is... Uh, 
I believe it's Chris D'Angelo over the line. D'Angelo with some skating legs, sends it across the crease. Picked up on the near side, and a nice centering pass for Gervasi, who has both police goals, number eight. Comes back to Sanford, manning the left point. He'll go in deep, centering pass. Gervasi again with a chance right in front. Boy, he has a way of finding uh, open ice, doesn't he? Carey now gets it to Sanford. Sanford looking, finds Charlie Coyle, but can't get, the, get, him, get him the puck. And a steal here, and that's Gaudette. Gaudette down the right wing. Gaudette, nice back check there by uh, Carey on Gaudette. And here's Coyle. Coyle right up the middle for Sanford. Sanford down the middle, leaves it. Nice pass across, and a beautiful play. But they can't connect, and finally, Paul Carey just has to put it home. A garbage goal. They probably got a little too cute there on the initial rush with the extra pass, but you know, these firefighters and police officers, none of them are selfish. They don't want the credit. They're more than happy to give the credit to someone else. That's what you saw happen there, I think. Yeah, Gary uh, normally would have shot the first time. He tried to make a pass, and then he finally just said, the net's open. Let's uh, get back within a goal here. Paul Carey is going to need to do that plenty for the Ottawa Senators this winter if they want to stay competitive. Here's Gaudet up the middle, leading a three on three. Gaudet over the line, right side, takes it in deep, throws it towards the net, trying to find a cutting line mate. Sanford now, nice pass up ice for uh, Chris Wagner. Wagner quickly across ice, back to Sanford. Now they leave it back deep to uh, Paul Carey. Carey Playing catch, good group out here for the police department. Sanford now trying to thread the needle there as open near side was Wagner, but he can't get him the puck. Wagner probably played at the bog a few times in his youth. Not all that close to Walpole, but close enough. Some sort of league, I'm sure, took him down here. Got out out there with um, Colin White and uh, looks like Doug Smith, we'll call it. Long pass in, long shot in, shot pass by Murray. Coyle picks up the loose change, gets it to Jimmy Hayes. Hayes across ice for Murphy. Murphy can't hang on to it, and Murray will flip it near side for uh, Pat Leahy. Leahy was trying to find Viega, but it skipped over his stick. And coming the other way, and a wrist shot there by uh, Michael Brennan, who's been all over the ice. Michael Brennan would be a, an early pepper pot candidate, number 13 in camouflage. I'm looking very forward to the pepper pot winners tonight, Paul. For those uh, loyal My Hockey Live listeners out there, every game we've ever done with Paul McNamara on the call, he awards the pepper pot player of the game. And I got to imagine tonight will be no different. I would say maybe you'll give two, one to a police or fire uh, fighter and one to an NHL player. Yeah, it's hard to look by uh, Gervaisi, who's got both of the first two goals. No penalties yet in this game either, Paul. I wonder if that's a trend we're going to see continue. I would say don't hold your breath on that one, Jay. Unless they call a penalty shot to try to even things up later on. <laughs> Colin White over the line now. He's got help. That's Lee. Lee, a shot. A great save there by Russell. Beautiful stop by the goaltender there, Officer Jeremy Russell. Colin White out of Hanover, not to be confused with the former New Jersey Devil Colin White who won a couple of cups. This Colin White is property of, again, those Senators. Jimmy Hayes to Lacouture who makes a move. Dan Lacouture, shot was blocked on the way in. And now Leahy trying to find White in the middle. White with a wrist shot and Leahy circling back and headed to the net. Deflected up into the, uh, on the boards. Play continues. White. Tries to backhand it in front, looking for Leahy. Leahy ended up playing six or seven years in Europe to end his career. Jimmy Hayes over the line. O'Gara stays on side. Lacouture in. Nice wrist shot. Nice play. And a goal for the police. Beautiful passing there. And Detective Michael Brennan with the score. To tie things up. Police fight back to tie it at 4-4 after giving up four unanswered. Good puck movement, good vision by Jimmy Hayes. With a secondary assist dropped that off, Dan Lacouture, and ultimately to Brennan. Ties it at four. 
Yeah, they worked together. Lacature and Jimmy Hayes looked like they've been playing together for 10 years. Couple of former Bruins. Lacature, he played on the Bruins that first year after the lockout, the 05-06 season. Uh, a forgetful season for many Bruins fans. But the way I look at that season is that it caused them to sign Sedano Chara, and here we are a dozen years later. Nice save by Russell inadvertently, but he had his pad the right place the right time. Kevin Hayes now with it, circles up high. Hayes, little backhand pass. Trying to jam it near uh, near side near side for him was Sean Foley, but he already had that covered. Here's Donato in the slot. Donato will lay it back on the point and uh, skips out of the zone. And here's a break for the police. I don't think Brennan saw Lacatori. He had him open at the red line at the blue line rather. Flip pass over. Kind of go cross to cross here as they try to find somebody in the middle. Here's Brian Donato in, tries a one-hand backhand flip, goes wide. Coming in from the point is Malloy, as uh, Murray rather. Probably the most velocity we've seen on a shot tonight. Haven't seen any blast from the point as of yet. And Canafin's the guy you'd want to keep an eye on for that, a defenseman, trained defenseman like him or Motto. Here's Biega, Biega will toss it back to his partner, Murray. Murray's had a lot of ice time out there, 63 and white, for a non-professional. Again, he's one of those guys, I'm sure he played at Weymouth High or another local high school back in the day. Oh, nice goal there. Diego gave it to Brian Gibbons, who gave it a look the other way and flipped it short side and able to beat Russell there. 5-4, that makes it. The fire department back on top. Dragging rights within Weymouth on the line. Well, they'd gone over 10 minutes without a goal, but they uh, are back in the, in the lead, 5-4. to four. Talking about the fire department in white. We're down to uh, 113 to go in this first half. Paul Carey trying to pick it top shelf on the near side. A little too much velocity. Good wrist shot. Russell way out of his net to play it behind the net for Charlie Coyle. Coyle now handcuffed as Gibbons is all over him with the uh, four check. Coyle finally able to get it out of the zone. They work it to the middle, but Murray picks it off there. Plays it up to uh, Jake Walsh. Walsh over the line to Gibbons. Gibbons looking for help. Nice pass down low to Kevin Ryan. Can't connect, goes back to the left point. That's Eric Murray with it. Murray finds Gibbons, lays it back to uh, defenseman Brian Devlin. His shot get, makes it about halfway to the net. We're down to 22 seconds here as the police tries to tie it up here. Good four checking and now Carey with it. Carey, nice pass to Charlie Coyle. Coyle with some skating room. Circles back down to seven seconds. They'll have to hurry. Coyle in the middle, chipped out in front. Played there by Carey. Carey backhander doesn't make it to the net and it's blocked on the way and that's gonna do it in the first half here. Nine goals scored, Jake Levin. Five for the fire department and four for the police. A very entertaining first half. Feels about right. I'm hoping Charlie Coyle can get on the score sheet. I know he has a couple assists. Uh, score a goal at some point for, you know, I think the majority of these people are from Weymouth. So for his hometown crowd here down at the Bog in Kingston. A couple exits down the highway. Not too uh, all that hard to get to from Weymouth. Gentlemen, at this point, 16. So, I guess we'll have a little intermission here. I'm not sure if they're going to make the ice or what the deal is. It looks like they are going to head to the locker room, some of them. Yeah, we'll see. It didn't look like they were going to resurface right away, but they are going to switch up goaltenders as we see. Uh, Ottawa Senator uh, goaltender Mike Condon headed down to the left. 
to replace Doherty, who had both nine goals scored, but both goaltenders made some good stops uh, considering they're playing against NHL quality players. Mike Condon coming into the game out of Holliston, went to Belmont Hill, and then Princeton. Remember, he had a cup of coffee with the Montreal Canadiens a few years back as well. Coming off a 5-17 and 5 season with a 3.25 goals against average and a 902 save percentage. Yeah, he yeah. Got a lot of problems in Ottawa. It's hard to put a lot of the blame on him, I would say. Yeah, he actually had a good uh, season in Montreal. I think he played over 30 games when uh, the big guy was hurt there. Terry Price. And uh, did a great job. And we've got a, a change down the other end, too. Uh, it looks like Brad Barone is going to be the uh, goaltender for the police this, this half. I think they'd give these guys a little warm up here. Well, it looks, like, it looks like they're not going to make ice here, Jake, and they're going to go right to it. They post another 22 minutes up there, and uh, they will not switch ends, but we do have two goaltenders, and now we're set for second half action. Uh, to take care of us through the second half is Jake Levin. All right, Colin White won the draw, and he carries it deep back into his own end. Going to wind up way back up ice towards Mike Rice. Make that Godet. Adam Godet turns on the brakes around the corner boards and it's taken away by Paul Carey. Carey flies it across the right wing, crashing down in was Carey. Looking for a give and go. Couldn't complete the pass. Now it's Kevin Hayes the other way. Hayes for Colin White. Nifty move there with a stick between the legs by Colin White. A little fire wagon hockey to begin the second period of play and here Bobby Gervasi, Gervasi shot, saved by Condon. Got the feeling you could be saying that quite a bit in this second frame. Fire department in their own end. Godet can clear it out. Up ice had, looks like that was Colin White in mind. Colin White settles it atop the attacking zone. Back for Kevin Hayes. Hayes a shot, a save by Brad Baron. The SPHL Goalie of the Year in 2017-18. Chris Wagner over for Coyle. Coyle, drop it. That was for, I believe, with Lieutenant Ernie Metcalf. Hard to see some of these numbers, so please do bear with me. I apologize. Here's Coyle in front of his own bench. Got a two-man pincer movement coming in on him. Kevin Hayes trying to take away his front-looking passing lane. There's a three-line pass way up to Detective Michael Brennan. Brennan showing he's got a nose for the net in this one. For Rob O'Gara, the former Boston Bruin property. Went to the Rangers for Rick Nash, and here comes Kevin Hayes. Kevin Hayes in, shot. At the last second, it slides underneath the legs of Baron and Hayes. It's the fire department a six to four lead. Well, for a minute, I thought Kevin Hayes had out and faked himself out, but uh, that worked at 205. Good luck at it here. There is a lot of space between Hayes and the next closest skater. Not sure who gave him that outlet pass, but what a beautiful pass. So a two goal cushion now for the white clad fire department. He's been in front by as many as two in this game. Came back from a very early 2-0 deficit. It's Hayes again. Hayes for Dan Chenard. Score! I have to double check the number on that. I believe that is Dan Chenard, 22. 
Fire Department tucked into the back of his jersey. Might be Eric Murray, I stand corrected, number 63. It looks like, it looks like a 68 or a 69. I think it's a 68. Yarmir Yager's number. Yeah, that was one of the guys we didn't have, but he's on the board. <laughs> I would love to see if Yager could play in this game. Former Bruin. There's Ryan Donato a shot. That was blocked. Following to the end boards is Devlin. Jake, an assist to uh, Derek Robison on that, uh, or Robison on that uh, breakaway goal by Kevin Hayes. Good forward vision. Jake Walsh at the doorstep score. That's Ryan Donato. The local boy in the fire department is doubling up the police department. Eight to four. I think uh, the, the police bench may uh, use their timeout right now. If they had one. Robbie Fatorik were here. He might be throwing his bench on the ice right about now. An explosion with uh, three goals in a matter of uh, not much time. Here's Donato again. Donato trying to take this game over. We have a little collision. I'm sure that's something everybody wants to avoid because whether you're an NHL player, a fire officer, pardon me, firefighter, police officer, you got to go to work tomorrow. That's right. The training camps are opening up for the players in a couple of weeks. The Bruins have a captain's practice next week. Devlin, the intended recipient of an outlet pass and trying to chip it wide. Donato. For the point, Viega. Viega slides it across the blue line. Here's Donato again. Donato, a backhander and a save by Baron. Well, uh, I'll tell you. The goaltender, Brad Barone, I don't think he was ready for this. He saw how their team came to life and a lot of play down the other end uh, the second half of the first half. And uh, he's just been barraged here. Barone barraged. Ryan Donato leading the charge for the fire department thus far. Backhander by Colin White is going to carry up high. Colin White was a... 2015 first round pick. A lot of these guys were first round picks in their day. As a matter of fact, he was 16, taken 16 slots behind Noah Hannafin in the first round in 2015. The lone members of that, pardon me, and Adam Gaudet, another 2015 draft pick, although he was a fifth rounder. Mike Motto with the Puckers, the other Hobie Baker winner. He won it back in 2000 at Boston College. One of three BC guys to win that award. Gaudette's the only Northeastern player ever. And we're going to get a penalty here, Jake. Wow. A power play. Took us almost three quarters of the way through the game, but we'll take it. Now is a clear as day trip. The fire department going to go on the man advantage. Some nifty stick in on there by Colin White. Who's going to the box? Looks like Officer Steve Gosselin, no, I stand corrected. Not gonna make anybody sit in the box. Nobody's admitting to it, you know? They may have to get a lie detector around here. <laughs> a polygraph, as they call it in the biz. Oh, it's gonna, they, they're gonna give a penalty shot. There's not gonna be any man disadvantage. Ah, all right, I like that. It's gonna be Kevin Ryan. Kevin Ryan for the fire department. Has the look of a former hockey player in his day. Here he comes right down the middle to the backhand and a save by Barone. Nice job by Barone there to, to not make the first move and he stayed right with uh, Walsh all the way, and, uh, Ryan all the way rather. Ryan, Walsh, you know. <laughs> it's the South Shore of Massachusetts here. Devlin, Murray, Gibbons, Hayes, Carey, Mann. Back up ice. Looks like D'Angelo on a save by Condon. He'll glove it. You can tell those are his Senator's pads he's wearing. Gotta wonder if Eric Carlson will be back in Canada's capital this winter. Can I bet on that? 
It seemed like it was imminent, and then the trade chatter died down, and now a couple days ago, it started to rekindle again. Sort of an odd time of the year for a deal to be made, but we'll see. As Paul Carey flings it towards the corner, looking for Motto. Carey's been pretty active in this game. There's Wagner. Wagner a shot, save Condon. Wagner played collegiate hockey at Colgate University. Entering the attacking zone is Sanford. Sanford for Wagner. Carried deep beyond the net by Bobby Gervais, who has two goals for the police department. And Gervais, I believe he plays in a men's league Thought it was Thursday night, but given that this is Thursday night, he plays with a skater by the name of Steve Levin. My father, of course, and I'm not sure if it's a 16 over league at this point, but Gervasi, either way, showing his stuff. Good save there, and the, the rebound bounces in. Jimmy Hayes getting a little. Jimmy a little Hayes, the goal scorer. Jimmy Hayes, you remember, for his brief stay with the Bruins. He is now property of the Pittsburgh Penguins. Spent most of the last season with the New Jersey Devils. Three goals, six assists for nine points. He's originally a second round pick in 2008 by Toronto, which I didn't realize oh, I looked it up earlier. Had a heck of a career at Boston College, I'll tell you that. Traded to the Bruins for Riley Smith and Mark Savard. Of course, that was merely the dumping of Savard's contract. Get the Panthers to the salary cap floor. Here's Charlie Coyle. Wagner. After the point for O'Gara. O'Gara shot, got the deflection. Con and stays with the puck and popped it up. It's still loose down low. Coyle couldn't uncoil it from the slot. Here's Gaudet, Adam Gaudet with about 30 feet of space shot and a save by Roan. The puck never left the ice. Gaudet took a tumble and right back up to the puck in the corner. He drops it up top. Nice pass. Good vision. Boy, Noah Hannafin saw Gaudet wide open, put it right on his stick. Here comes Charlie Coyle. Coyle atop the slot. Pass go! Beautiful play. That's Rob O'Gara. It's eight to six. Fire department with the lead now. Rob O'Gara, native of Massapequa, New York. O'Gara and Coyle gave a Christmas present to Brennan. What great passing. Brennan's second goal of the night. Brennan has looked good. Here's O'Gara. Slide it back towards Biega. <laughs> Biega back in his own end. Flips it up for Jake Walsh. Ran into an obstacle along the blue line. Charlie Coyle picks up another help. Second assist of the night. Here's Brennan again. Brennan going for the hat trick and some nice zip on that wrist. A good save by Condon. Diego starts the fast break up to Kevin Ryan. Ryan dumps it along the end boards. Mike Modow along that end wall. Full slap shot, there we go. Eric Murray uncorking one. There's your bomb. Hadn't seen it yet, and even that was maybe half or three quarter of a slap shot. Must be a, a non-wooden stick that missed the net by so much. <laughs> Here's Dan Lacature. Lacature, a little give and go intended for Detective Michael Brennan. How many hats do you think we'd see on the ice if that went in? Well, they got the net up here, so you'd have yeah. to have a pretty good toss. I'd, I'd try to get Pat Serio, our uh, videographer's hat out there on the ice, though. Might be the last thing you ever do if you try that. 
Lacature, nice rush. Lacature, we're gonna have another penalty. Probably a penalty shot. Ooh, good save there. That was fired by Officer Steve Goslin. Condon made the save. Goslin's played a good, quiet defensive game. He's been paired with uh, Motto or O'Gara all night. He's been out there a lot against the pros. And it will be another penalty shot, this time going the other way. The police department can get within a goal here. 12.22 to go. Half they, number two. They're going to go with a hot hand. It's Brennan. Why not? Detective Michael Brennan, straight up the middle. Hit full Mike Condon. No doubt about that one. Sent it straight on net. A little quick wrister. Condon makes the save. Good bid. Good bid. You know, they would have cut the lead to one. It's a great summer hockey league game. I mean, that's summer hockey. You very rarely see both, both teams held to single digits, but wide open and not a check thrown within 10 miles of this building. Donato, Foley. Here's Paul Carey. Paul Carey over the blue line. Slid it methodically up, was looking for Officer Steve Milano. Winds up back in the police department's own end, Jimmy Hayes. A carry. Carry to Officer Chris D'Angelo. Donato came up with a puck. Brian Devlin back for Donato. Donato ahead to Sean Foley. Foley from the dot, and that shot is blocked. Hayes on the far half boards. Gets it out of his own end. Sanford get up ice in time. Donato with a laser that's off the mark, perhaps intentionally. Might have kissed the, uh, the post slightly. And of course, Donato is the son of Ted Donato. In case you were wondering, although if you're watching this game, I'm sure you already knew that. Kind of looking around, I thought uh, Coach Donato might be here. And maybe, maybe he is. There's a heck of a crowd here. I love how Patrice Bergeron played with Ted Donato his rookie year, and now he's playing with Ryan Donato. Feels like Bergeron's he's 40 not, years old. He's only 32. He's not that old. Maybe? Really not that old at all. Came up at 18 out of the queue. Bobby Gervasi for Sanford. Sanford. Cock and fire was Wagner from his knee almost. Bit off the mark, intercepted by Jimmy Hayes. Jimmy Hayes atop the slot, drop for Sanford, back for Hayes, a shot, and it clangs off the iron for Wagner. That's an NHL line right there. Couldn't quite beat Conn, and it's off the mark ever so slightly. If this game was in the playoffs, Wagner would be seeing that one in his sleep. For a moment, had a completely open net. Well, oomph on that one from Donato. He's probably been the one player consistently really firing missiles out there. And a good save for Brad Barron. Ten oh eight to go in the second half, and uh, we got a heck of a hockey game here. Here's Wagner. Wagner in score. <laughs> Wagner, a player more known for his physical gifts, I would say, in the NHL, was fourth in the league in hits a season ago. Showing he has a little breakaway speed as well. Made up for the uh, the miss on the last one. Brian Gibbons gives him a little uh, nudge there off the faceoff. Police department within a goal now, and Charlie Coyle leads charge up ice. Three on one if he hurries. Coyle ahead, had Wagner ahead of him. Coyle trying to poke to beyond Condon. Condon has saved the backhander. Rob O'Gara intended. Bit off the mark. Here's Sanford. Sanford atop the slot for Coyle. Coyle for Wagner for Sanford. Wagner rebound in the dirty area, puts it on Condon, and he covers up with the mitt. Mike Condon, NHL, on that flurry. <laughs> Three great 
chances there for the police department and Condon was just equal to that. I mean, it, as you said, three NHL guys showing their, their hands. Coyle and Sanford and Wagner moving the puck very well. Here's Godet for the fire department. Godet off ice in the far circle underneath the stick of Biega. A couple of Vancouver Canucks on that play. Biega to Godet, gonna be the new Sedin to Sedin this coming winter. Godet trying to muscle in the backhand, no avail. Shot saved by Rowan, rebound to Coyle. And the home crowd wants to see Coyle get a goal. He has the two helpers. Boy, great presence by O'Gara there. Head up all the way. Toward the attacking zone there for Rob O'Gara. Doesn't yield a scoring chance. And Gaudet is able to redirect the puck and it lands squarely on the stick of Brad Marone. Well, Jake, uh, the fire department came out and got three goals in the first three and a half minutes. And uh, they've been shut down ever since. And uh, the, the police department has come back with three of their own. So a one goal deficit as we had at the break. Fans want a trip call to leave on the police department. Another one. Here's Godet, however. Godet at the half boards. As the puck intercepted. There's Goslin. Goslin going one on one, John with looked like Sergeant Kevin Malloy. Diego on the end zone, just inside eight minutes to go in the second half. The Exa make that Godet. Godet fading out towards the corner, stayed with the puck and flung it to Diego. Now moving around the far circle. Malloy. Malloy, the other end, Goslin, Goslin in. Good back check by Mike Rice. Yeah, good defensive play there by Rice. Mike Mono. Condon holding that far post. Boy, Lacatur is still a big guy, isn't he? Number 11. Oh, yeah. We want to step in his path. Devlin going to the corner, clears it the length of the rink. It won't be an icing. Unless it is. Can pass, perhaps? Boy, whistles have been few and far between, but they blow one there. I didn't see one necessary there, but the officials do a great job. I think they may be taking a break here to do something else that might be part of the festivities. Players are headed to the bench. Now this guy, it's a penalty call. A penalty shot upcoming for the police department. Can't tell the number. I believe it's Gervasi. Number eight. Picked it high and missed wide. It could have been Officer Steve Milano instead. My apologies. Yeah. Milano tried to go glove side high on Condon. So the goalies are three for three in the penalty shot chances. I think only one of them has reached the net, but nevertheless. Hayes, trying to drop it back towards Leahy. And Leahy skating that off wing as they get uh, Kevin Ryan out there on this line. Knocked away by Brian Devlin. Six and a half to go in the second. Here's Kevin Hayes. Hayes over the blue line. Hayes off the slot. And off some skates. Devlin. Back to the near side, and all alone is Kevin Hayes. Kevin Hayes in. Can't complete the move down low on Barone, who stuck out his left pad. 
Yeah, good save by Brad Marone there, and uh, Kevin Hayes, maybe, he had the breakaway, but he looked completely out of gas, too. And, you know, essentially, this has been one big period. They had a, what, maybe a two-minute breather after the first? I wonder if it's Coach David Quinn's in the, in the stand, his new coach to be. Yet another local guy, local connection. Congratulations to David Quinn on that uh, appointment, head coach of the New York Rangers. Did very, a great job at BU. And it's very coach. interesting to see this starting to happen more and more. I know Jim Montgomery is another guy, Dave Haxtell. See it all the time in the college football and college basketball ranks, a guy jumping up to the pro ranks. I hadn't seen it a ton in hockey in recent years, or I shouldn't say, I should say until in recent years. Yeah, there's some guys in the AHL that maybe uh, will work their way up. Mark Dennett, he just got the job in Binghamton. The, uh, the Devils AHL team. And the police department is tied it up. Connie is sprawled out. Hammering it home is Zach Sanford of the St. Louis Blues. Freeze Yates here at the box. That was just a mad scramble. A good garbage goal there by Sanford. We're officially out of room. <laughs> With 16 goals scored. And uh, I bet we're not done. <laughs> and right on you. Ryan Gibbons knocks it in off of uh, fellow BC player Jimmy Hayes skates. It was eight to four in favor of the fire department. The police department tied it up and the fire goes right back on top, nine to eight. Only took up eight seconds. Carry. We'll find Sanford. It's Sanford. Sanford threw it in front looking for Gervais. In transition, Donato leads the charge. Tried to drop it for Hannafin. Sent way out. It's Detective Brennan has his pocket picked. Paul Carey looking for Coyle, Charlie Coyle. Weymouth Song. On the end boards, looking for Wagner. Coyle in the slot, a shot, and it dribbles underneath the legs of Condon, but he's able to just get his heel on it, or his yeah, ankle. He, Mike Con didn't know exactly where it was, but figured it was underneath him, and got the benefit of the whistle. 4.06 to go, the Ted Williams number. Coyle a shot up into the protective netting in front of the Duxbury High School boys locker room. Michael Brennan out there, number 13. He's uh, Detective Brennan. He's been a factor tonight with a couple of goals and he's got an assist or two as well. It's Biega. Diego for Colin White. Stretch pass intended for Mike Ransom. That's Colin White. Looking for Hayes. There's Coyle up the near side wing. Charlie Coyle, puck in tow. Trying to work around Diego. He'll use the net as a screen. Carries to the far side of the ice. Coyle, soft backhander over to Ernie Metcalf, and that's going to go wide of the net. Boy, Metcalf had a great look looking for Brennan on the far post. Just jumped over his stick. Down to about three minutes to go in regulation. At the doorstep, a backhander by Colin White, going to sail wide of their own. Over the blue line, Piega. Back into his own end. Two police jerseys were bearing down on him. Sent the length of the ice, icing waved off. It's left for Mott out. 
Here's Coyle. Coyle's been out there for the last two or three minutes, it feels like. I don't know if he's going to leave the ice. Madawa shot, glanced maybe off the pad of Condon. Lack of chore. It's kicked up top. Matau brings it into the corner for Gervasi, and that is going to go wide. Boyle behind the net. Surveying his option. Send it in front, and it's going to go wide. Metcalf the shooter. Down to two minutes to go. Boyle still out there. Boyle. Runs, in, runs into O'Gara. Ran into his own man. It's a two on O developing. Here's Bobby, pardon me, Kevin Ryan, the shot. Goes wide. Ball and White. Well, Charlie Coyle's on oxygen over there. It's not coming off the ice. Now he's going to go off the ice. We have a trip. The police department's going to get a penalty shot with a minute 38 to go in regulation to tie the game. And guess who it is? Detective Michael Brennan. See if they try to get cute here and put another player out there. Well, that's going to be Brennan. Well, they're trying to lug Coyle out there. It is. It's going to be Charlie go. Coyle. The whole tackle. The crowd's going wild for Charlie Coyle. His Chance team, to tie it. His team down a goal. He's carried it wide to the right in his forehand side. Charlie Coyle finds the game. They got him. Nine to nine. The local hero. They gotta put him back out there. Got it against Coyle, Braintree and Weymouth on the faceoff. And you and BU. Game not over, God dead. Shot score! It's Jake Wolf. Ties it up, and pardon me, gives the fire department the lead. 124 to go in the second. 10 to 9. Well, I said it before, at least one team's in double figures, and maybe two. Coyle back out on the ice for the police department. Here's Wagner, Wagner! Oh! Score! What a play. Wow. 20 goals in uh, 41 minutes. You get the feeling this thing's going overtime. <laughs> Unless Charlie Coyle has anything to say about it. If there's Anafin, that's been his step. Up for Godet. Coyle cuts off Godet's angle, but Godet gets it right back anyways. Tried to sling it back in for Jake Walsh. Coyle has the puck in space to move the ball. The offensive outlet pass to Mike Montau. Picked off by Eric Murray. Half a minute to go in the second. Wagner making a charge for the puck. Wagner has a couple of goals too. Love down by Mata. Coyle just absolutely gassed. Didn't quite have the energy to get to the puck in the corner. Maddow, 17 seconds on the clock. Up for Wagner. Wagner coming up the near side left wing. Turns on the brakes at the half boards for Maddow. Maddow, it's goal! Seven seconds to go! Look at Zach Sanford. Zach Sanford, the goal scorer. Right place, right time at the far post. It's 11-9. 
seven to ten in favor of the police department. What a great look by Motto as uh, Wagner fed him, headed right to the net. He saw Wagner all alone over there on the far side, and not much Condon can do about that one. And they're gonna pull the goalie right now with seven seconds left. Kevin Hayes will take the draw. Looks like he gets Paul Carey. No, it's not Paul Carey. Here comes Donato. Donato, two seconds left, lost the puck. Chip free by the police department, and they win. In memory of Sergeant Michael Trusta, his police department upends the fire department of Weymouth. 11 to 10. What a cool game to be a part of. I'll tell you, great, great entertainment. And you can see in the last few minutes, these guys were going all out. Uh, you know, it doesn't mean anything to them professionally, but boy, pride is there. And what an entertaining hockey game. Again, it's unfortunate we have to be here under the circumstances, but making the most of the situation. That's what these guys are doing. A great way to remember Sergeant Chesta and Vera Adams. So we'll keep it here as uh, the festivities will continue. I believe they're gonna raffle off their shirts. Here's the 50-50 announcement. Hey, a great round of applause and well deserved as these guys, uh, they played uh, the amateurs and the pros skating together and uh, it worked out so well. 21 goals, a goal every other minute here tonight and uh, boy, what a lot of fun for a great cause and Very God bless. Very cool scene out there, absolutely. And every dollar raised tonight from these tickets is going to the families of Sergeant Chester and Vera Adams. Responses. What the community does, the hockey community, but all communities really coming together, time of difficulty. Charlie Coyle wins the song, getting on the score sheet on a penalty shot late in the second period, which was the second half of course tonight. Couldn't script it any better in that regard. So as they, uh, the lines, prepare, uh, the lines end and they go back towards their respective benches. We'll see what's next here in this great evening here at the Bog in Kingston for Weymouth. We want to remind you guys uh, the 2018 19 high school hockey season is just over three months away. Crazy. In preparation for the season, My Hockey Live is offering discounted season passes right now at myhockeylive.com. For a limited time, you can save $10 on your season-long pass. We live streamed over 150 games last year alone, and this year we'll deliver more great live, on uh, live online hockey coverage right to your desktop, laptop, or mobile device. This early bird promotion runs only through Sunday, September 30th at 11.59.59 p.m. So sign up now. Visit www.myhockeylive.com to purchase your 2018-2019 season pass today. Remind me not to say the W. Well, you got a nice team picture of the winning team uh, down to our right. The police department will take home this, uh, maybe it's the first Chesna trophy. It would stun me to see this event be held again next year years beyond. And I think the fire department will get their picture taken as well as, as the runners up in the tournament. And goaltender Chris Doherty taking the pose like they won the <laughs> cup. The 
uh, the fans are stirring around here, so they don't think the night's over yet, but we'll see what's up next. Well, I know the Ra they booked the ice from seven to nine. I guess we'll have to see. About 8.20 local time. Well, it looks like there may be uh, 25 or 30 uh, lucky fans are going to get down and win a, uh, a rather sweaty hockey jersey tonight. Very cool. The Charlie Coyle jersey is going to be the most in demand tonight, I would say. I would uh, agree with that. All right, our second jersey of the evening is going to Mr. Colin Dunlap. Colin Dunlap over there. He'll be receiving number 73, a Berlin alumni, Pat Ravies jersey. Once again, we'll be for Colin Dunlap. Pat Leahy. The former Miami of Ohio Red Hawk. Recent national championship winners, if I'm not mistaken, 2014 or so? Yeah, not, yeah, not too long ago. Great program there under Enrico Blasi, the head coach there, the longtime head coach. Done a great job with the Red Hawk program. All right, we have our third recipient of the evening. We are looking for Marissa Auerbach. She will be receiving number 74, a member of the Anaheim Mighty Ducks, Brian Kevinson's jersey. That will be once again going to Marissa Auerbach. Marissa, come on down. Well, we're gonna we're gonna wrap up our coverage here, I believe. Uh, the the rest of the evening will proceed with the uh, gifts of the jerseys, but we want to thank you very much for watching tonight. And uh, Jake, final words. All the audience, I've said it all night long. It's great to see the community, the hockey community, especially come together under these circumstances, and they put on a memorable show. And I expected nothing less. Uh, great to be here in that regard, and uh, hey, we got high school hockey season coming in three months, so it's all coming up for us as well. Well, I agree. I want to thank uh, Pat Serio for his production tonight. Always uh, top shelf. Jeff Lane on production as well, and uh, Mark Igo in the house. Our uh, chief, chief cook and bottle wash of My Hockey Live. And uh, Jake, a pleasure working with you tonight. And folks, stay tuned. Once again, you get 10 bucks off your season-long pass. If you sign up now in the next month or so, go to myhockeylive.com and check it out. And uh, if you watch this game tonight, you can see this again uh, once it's archived uh, in a few days on the site, myhockeylive.com. So for everybody here at My Hockey Live, and a salute to the city of Weymouth and congratulations for a great job tonight for everybody from Weymouth and uh, our thoughts and prayers with the Chesna family and, uh, and the Adams family and the whole police department of uh, the Weymouth. Once again, the final here uh, in a barn burner. The police department wins at 11 to 10 over the fire department. That's going to do it for us from the bog uh, for Jake Levin, for Pat Serio, for Mark Eigel, for Jake uh, for, uh, Jeff Lane and for me, Paul, Paul McNamara. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you again on myhockeylive.com.